buy Bitcoin before the next bull run in 2019. Welcome back guys, it's Crypto Rocco here and today we're going to talk about some of the Bitcoin news that's been going on and also guys I'll do what I do best, I'll do my chart analysis at the end of this video. So guys before like last year I used to do a lot of news updates and keep you guys up to date with news and fundamentals. Lately I've been doing more about trading and what I'm looking to trade so I thought I'll do a kind of news update in what's going on with Bitcoin so this has been published on Coin Telegraph, one of the more reputable sources for crypto news. And um, also, guys, on my Facebook group, you can join our Facebook group or Twitter. I try to keep you guys up to date with some of the uh, news that are coming out as well. So, guys, Bitcoin um, climbed through that massive break that we saw, that thousand dollar candle, and then since then, guys, it is looking good and it's still trending higher. And this guy is saying that Bitcoin, so. If you don't know Funstrat, guys, Funstrat, uh, this Tom Lee's from Funstrat, he's he's our favorite crypto guy, guys. He's always he's he's a leader, uh, head of research at Funstrat Global Advisors, and he's a massive Bitcoin bull, guys. Even through the bear market, he'd come on CNBC and always talk Bitcoin up. He's a guy that I like. His prediction last year didn't come true, but now he's really bullish. I mean, he's always on bullish on Bitcoin. Now he's seeing that it's going to be a really bull market for Bitcoin and he sees Bitcoin ba breaking through that 6,000 mark as well I mean I didn't think it will break through here uh, just now I think there will be a pullback but Bitcoin is just trending higher I talked about my prediction in this video my Elliott wave count where I kind of tried to predict what's going to happen on Bitcoin but again uh, Elliott wave is just I use it to aid my uh, analysis and trading. I don't use it. I don't base my trading just off that. I use volume, price action, and and main technical analysis and loads of other stuff and my experience from to execute trade. So while it's premature to conclude, Bitcoin will not retest support near four thousand three. 300 uh, we would encourage traders and investors to remain focused on the bullish longer term technical profile developing so he's probably saying that you know maybe you can start dollar cost averaging if you really think bitcoin will go up as a trader i mean i took a trade i shared it in the group i took the trade on the breakout of this i posted it before and uh, currently i'm looking at bitcoin I mean, i'll make a video tomorrow about uh, some of the top five altcoins for for April, uh, sorry for May, uh, the one that I made for April worked quite well so I'm going to make one and I have given you guys one of them that I'm looking at now this Bitcoin Cash will be in tomorrow's video so stay tuned for that so guys in this news uh, he mentioned maybe you can start looking at dollar cost averaging and he's saying it will rally through this 6000 resistance the second half, uh, second quarter in anticipation of the second half year rally through 6000 and if that happens guys it's very very bullish for Bitcoin Bitcoin. and he thinks Tom Lee you can go watch his video on CNBC I'm not playing it for copyright reasons but you can go watch it yourself and he thinks this will break the break the uh, 6,000 resistance and hit all-time new highs in 2020 so uh, potentially you know next year he's talking about new highs above 20k so this is very bullish news guys a few things that I would like to share with you is um, one thing that I'm looking at is the price difference of Bitfinex and um, other other exchanges with the Tether FUD I've shared in the group yeah, I'm sure you're aware of what the FUD is um, and Due to that tether for there's a Bitfinex is trading on uh, trading a lot higher, so you can see it's trading at six thousand, while other exchanges are trading at five thousand six hundred. So there's a four hundred premium. So what does it mean if Bitfinex breaks six thousand? Could these follow? Uh, is it just being pumped by Feather? But because of the tether fund, are people ex is it an exit scam? There's lots of news and kind of uncertainty going on. But one thing I would say is even with that bad news, we've not seen. The the price drop and when price don't drop on bad news I think that's bullish that's my uh, perspective I didn't buy Bitcoin at this I bought you can go watch my videos I bought Litecoin and Ethereum I didn't I didn't play this Bitcoin bull run but I got in I was waiting to get into Bitcoin because you shouldn't fight the trend you should follow what's going on and I do think there will be a pullback and I will load up if it gives me a pullback to here which I've which I've had drawn drawn well, ages ago kind of four 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 and a half thousand mark I'll start buying a lot more but at the moment guys I'm waiting to see how this pan out so that's just my quick technical analysis and 
trading prediction on Bitcoin. I've shared with you some of the news that's been going on. If I click on um, their website, there's there's not much stuff going on. I mean, one thing I talked about yesterday was um, I tried to keep you guys up to date on some of the kind of longer term stuff as well because you know Bitcoin usually we, we look at really shorter term time frame stuff we don't really look at longer term and I think we need to do both we need to keep our perspective long because I'm a trader I'm always trying to talk about what's going on what's going on today what's happening in the next hour next two hours but we need to also look at the longer term stuff one thing I would like to share with you is you know what is the best answer we can give to our friends when they say Bitcoin is a scam you know Samsung has a crypto wallet JP Morgan coin is there Nike is launching crypto kicks Facebook coin potentially for WhatsApp transfer IBN coin for cross-border payments and Amazon getting involved and there's lots of positives for Bitcoin as well this is when I was before the breakout that I bought so you know we need to keep at the longer term news as well so this is just an update on the what's going on in the crypto and Bitcoin market I hope you guys enjoyed it uh, let me know if you want more videos like this I mean I'll try to keep you guys uh, I like to do a few different things and I was thinking about maybe going live on Sunday as well uh, to give you guys a better update on what's going on so maybe Sunday evening UK time I'll go live and I can look at coins that you want me to look at and we can have a, a chat for an hour or so and we could go live for a bit maybe I'll think about doing that anyways thank you for watching this video guys let me know your thoughts um, also guys I'm doing the like card giveaway when I reach maybe 4,000 or 5,000 subscribers so comment below your Litecoin um, addresses for that also guys if you want to be in with a chance of winning that make sure you turn on the notification button as well so thank you very much smash that like button subscribe to my channel guys and I'll see you guys soon with another great video go Bitcoin